Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play through a song called Cha-Ching by Imagine Dragons. And it starts out with kind of this cool little ambient intro where you could kind of strum a C major chord, and we play C major. First finger goes the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. Now you may also want to think about using a C major 9 during the song when we play C major 9. First finger goes the D on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the A string 3rd fret, 3rd finger on the B string 3rd fret, and the pinky on the high E string 3rd fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major 9. And you kind of hear in that intro where it kind of changes from the C chord to an E minor chord when we play E minor. First finger goes the A on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the D string 2nd fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord, and it sounds really sad. I also want to think about using something called E minor 7 through the song, where you could kind of add in the third finger on the B string 3rd fret, pinky on the high E on the 3rd fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor 7 chord, and it sounds really, really sad. So you kind of, kind of hear in the background where it just kind of alternates between that C, E minor, C, E minor, and then from there, then we go into our main verse part. It kind of works around this cool little bass line where you could play third fret on the A string, and then open A, and then second fret on the A, and then open E, and then third fret on the low E string, and then open D, and then third fret on the A, second fret on the D, and then go back to third fret on the A string, and kind of another third fret on the A. So all together, you're kind of playing a C, A, B, start on a C major chord, but then we go to an A minor chord, and we play A minor. First finger stays on the B string 1st fret, second finger on the D string 2nd fret, and third finger on the G string 2nd fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really sad. Now you might also want to think about using something called A7 sus, where you do your first finger on the D string 2nd, second finger on the G string 2nd, third finger on the B string 3rd fret, and the pinky on the high E string 3rd fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds an A7 sus. You can think about that for the A chords. And then from the A, we go to a B minor chord. And we play B minor. And we'll talk about an easy way to play this too. Normally you do it as a 2nd fret bar, 2nd finger on the B string 3rd fret, 3rd finger on the D string 4th fret, and the pinky on the G string 4th fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord. And it sounds really, really sad. Now you may also want to think about using a different B minor where you do the first finger on the A string 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the G string 2nd fret, 3rd finger on the B string 3rd fret, and the pinky on the high E string 3rd fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, it sounds a B minor 7. Cool, interesting voice. And then from the B minor, we're going to be going to our E minor chord. And then we do an E minor, and then we go to a G major chord. And we play G major. First finger stays on the A string 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the low E string 3rd fret, third finger on the high E string third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really happy. Now you may also want to think about putting the third finger on the B string third fret, pinky on the high E string third fret. That's another way you can play your G major chord. And then from the G, we're going to go into a D major chord. When we play D major, first finger goes to the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E second fret, and third finger on the B string third fret. And if you show them the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the D, we're going to be going back to our C major chord, and then our E minor chord, and then we go back to C major, and then we do another C major. So through that whole uh, verse, we got kind of C, A minor, B minor, E minor, E minor, G, D, C, E minor, C, C. A lot of times with a song like this, though, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So to the C and just try that a lot, you'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down. The weird thing about applying that to our verse is we've got some chords that kind of have. So, so you may want to kind of work that as kind of a down, down, up on that first chord and the up, down, up on the second chord.
So on that C and A minor at the beginning, you may want to do a down, down, up, and then go to the A minor for the up, down, up. And then you have the B minor with the whole strum pattern. And then we have E minor with the whole strum pattern. And then we have E minor with the down, down, up. And then G with the up, down, up. And then D with the down, down, up. And then C with the up, down, up. And then we have E minor with our whole pattern. And then C with our whole pattern. starts on the G major, and then we go to our A minor chord, and then we go to our B minor chord, or on that B, you may want to use a G major chord, actually. If you, if you take the G major, especially if you kind of strum just the A string to the high E string, it sounds something called G slash B, so you really have to think about using that for the B minor change. And then we'd be going to a C major at the very, very end. So we tried our chorus with our strum pattern. We have G down and about adding to the song though is bass notes and a lot of times on that first down of the down down up up down up you can throw in a bass note for the chord so on the g you'd have the low e for the bass on the a minor you'd have the a for the bass on the c you'd have the a for the bass on the b minor you'd have the a for the bass and on the e minor you'd have the low e for the bass and on the d chord you'd have the d for the bass so we tried our next verse with basses we'd have c with an a bass down up a minor down up b minor with an a bass down up
Contra, of course, is kind of cool on the very last C. Instead of playing the C all the way through, you may want to do kind of a B minor and then an A, kind of halving it to kind of lead back to the G. So you'd have G with Louis Bay. That's the basics of how you can strum through Cha-Ching by Imagine Dragons. So, good luck!